In this video I will show you how you can solve Filmora lagging, crashing, freezing, slow editing and slow export problem. Friends if you are using Filmora 11, Filmora 10, Filmora 9 or Filmora Pro video editor. And your computer slows down a lot during video editing, or hangs at all. Or while editing your Filmora stops working and your Filmora auto shuts down. So to solve all these problems you have to do very important settings which you might not have done. These settings help from your fast editing to your quick video export. If your computer is fine but still Filmora is not running properly and you are worried, don't worry. Because in this video I share with you the settings and tips and tricks that will make your Filmora work fast. Your Filmora won't hang. Friends, this video has the solution to all your problems. And with the hope that a happiness will come on your face. So let me show you how you can solve Filmora lagging, crashing, freezing, slow editing and slow export problem. Hello video editors. I am Sali Ali. Welcome to Sali Tutorials. First of all when we create a new project we have to make some settings which make our computer very fast. We have to delete old proxy, render files render files etc and unnecessary stuff. For this you have to find Wondershare Filmora folder inside your computer. This is usually inside the documents folder on disk C. Double click this folder. Here you will find many folders. Just like I'll delete some things here, you can delete them in the same way before creating your new project. Remember that you have exported your old project, otherwise your old project will be deleted and cannot be recovered. When you have verified that you have finished and exported all your projects, after that, double-click on the backup folder here. Select all the backup files here. Right-click on it. And click Delete. Back out of this folder. Then double-click the Media Proxy folder. Select all the footages etc. in this folder. Right click on it. And delete. Back from this folder. Click on the render folder. Also delete all the files inside this folder. Back from this folder. Delete the unnecessary pictures inside the snapshots folder as well. Back from this folder. The next folder we need to open is the temp folder. Delete all the files inside this folder as well. We have deleted almost all the unnecessary files inside the Wondershare folder. Now close this folder. Delete the files inside the recycle bin on your desktop. Right click on recycle bin and click on empty recycle bin. Yes. After doing this, you have to press Windows key or button from your computer. Then you will see run window. Inside it you have to type percent temp percent and then click OK or press Enter key from keyboard. So you will have this folder open. Inside this folder are all the unnecessary things that make your computer run slow. Select all the files inside this folder. Shortcut to select is Ctrl A now we have to delete all these files permanently. When you select it, press a keyboard shortcut Shift Delete. And after that, press the Yes button. If some files are not being deleted, then skip it. These methods are separate from Filmora that most people don't know about, but it's important to do before starting work on a new project. After doing this we have some other necessary settings that we need to do inside Filmora. Open your Filmora video editor for this. Click on New Project. Now the settings we will make in Filmora are forever as long as you want these settings. I mean the settings I do here only have to be done once. Click file on the top left inside the software. Then click on preferences. Click on the folders tab here. 
if you have selected a desk of your computer here in which you have very little free space. And that's why your Filmora is suffering from various problems again and again. So for this you have to change the files folder and select a desktop in which you have free space. And for the rest of the folders in the same way, create a folder in free disk and select it. Next, click on the Save tab. Inside it you will see two folders. One folder is for the backup project file, and the other folder is for the default project location. So also change the location of these two folders if your selected disk is low on free space. After that, click on Performance tab. Do the same settings for here turn on the tick of Enable Hardware Acceleration for video rendering and playback. Also turn on the Enable Hardware Acceleration for video decoding button. If you have the Preview Render button turned on, it should be turned off. Also change the location of the Preview Render files, and if your selected disk is running out of space. Automatically delete render files when a project file is closed. This option is not helpful for everyone, but if you follow the method I told you earlier, it will be very beneficial for you. Next, there is the proxy option which I find very important to configure. And within it select proxy according to your computer or project. Here I recommend you the middle one. That is, you select 1920 by 1080 here. And similarly change the proxy location if your selected disk lacks free space. And below the option of automatically delete proxies when a project is close, leave it too. Rather, it would be better if you follow the method I told you to delete the proxy, render file, etc. Below is the render option. Playback using latest rendering engine for better performance. Also keep this option on. After doing all these settings, click on OK button below. So we will have all the settings saved. Now we have done the most important settings, but now I'm going to tell you the project settings and another trick for more smoothly editing. When you start a new project, the first thing you do is set up your project. So for that go to above file and click on it. And scroll down and click on project settings. Set the aspect ratio within it. Here I select 16 to 9 widescreen. I keep the resolution as 1920 by 1080 full HD. I keep the frame rate at 25 FPS. Leave the color space by default. And click OK. After setting up the project, I am telling you about another important thing if your Filmora is not previewing smoothly while editing. So for that you have to change the playback quality. You can choose it on your own. If you have full then the video will be previewed in full HD quality but it is not easy to play it smoothly. Half, one quarter or one sixth option below full allows us to easily preview any video. Here I recommend you one quarter. Hopefully, with these settings, your Filmora will not have lagging, crashing, freezing, slow editing and slow export problems. If you still have any question, or you are facing any problem or difficulty in Filmora, then let me know in the comment and I will help you. Must subscribe to the channel to see more updates of videos like this. If this video helped you, please give it a like. Take care of yourself. Bye.